So let's dig in and create our first real project. And I would like to divide this into a couple of videos, but in the first video, we are to start and create the basic layout for our address book. <clears throat> because an address book is a good example on something that you can do actually pretty quickly in Likud. So uh, what we have here at the moment is that I've just uh, created a new stack. I added just three fields uh, and set some text in them. Uh, I renamed my stack to the address book. And then I went and set a background color for the stack. That means that now every new card, everything will have that same color. And then if I would like to change that one, well, then I have one place where I change that. So now what we are to do? Well, we are to create the basic layout for adding new addresses. So to do that, I will create a new card. Object, new card. And now I can just start to drag out the fields. And what I usually do is that I drag out one field, set the settings for that one, and then I copy that one. Another thing is to create that and then create a group and then set the settings about font size and so on and so forth. But I usually set at least the size of this one because I want it to be kind of like this. And then this one should be the name. And let's see, uh, oops, sorry for that one. I should hold down the Alt key and drag here and then I should have maybe the street address and let's grab that one again and create a shorter one and that will be that might be the zip uh, and we need the city and then we go like that and then maybe we want to email email and then we will have a mobile and then we should have now we realize hmm we kind of run out of space uh, when doing our first attempt. So maybe, well, one of the simplest solution is to kind of grab all of these. And as I said before, I can use this one. Now it says multiple objects. And I can say, you see that everything that is grayed out have different values. But one thing actually has the same value, and that is a height. And that is what I copied them all. So if I just lower this one, maybe I can set them to 30, maybe then I have a little bit more space uh, available uh, because now I can squeeze in a little bit more together. And the easiest way to do that is that, OK, let's say that uh, I think that the first section should start there and and kind of here. So uh, I have this one. I can, of course, do this manually. What, about, uh, what I can do is also that I can select that one, hold on the shift key and then click on the next one, next one and next one. And then I can go to the last tab here, that is the line objects. And first of all, I can align them left. And then I can distribute them uh, first to last selected. And now I have the same settings. Now it's only that city part. So I select this one first and then that one. Go to align and align them at the top. And then this one, of course, need to be aligned at that edge. So I select that one and that one. And again, align and at the right edge like that. So. Now we have a nice layout up here. Uh, I can grab all these fields. Now I can move them up here. And I can, there is also another way that I can do kind of a quick layout. And that is again, if I have them all selected, I can also, you see all that I can select an edge to edge. Then they will be placed directly next to each other. And that was maybe too close. Well, then I can grab those. And also in this, I can actually nudge them. So I can nudge them down a couple of, uh, pixels uh, and then I can grab that one and of course I can nudge also with the arrow keys on the keyboard uh, usually quicker um, and then I can add the final one down here so and now we have the URL and then we have the uh, mobile and then we had more than a phone maybe if someone uh, still has that so now I have my basic layout now I do have a problem because I have no labels. Um, so of course I need to add the labels also. Okay, so let's add the labels. I add, grab one of these and drop it there. And then I say here, I say name. And then we had, I copy that one. And then we say street. And then I copy that one. And then we'll say 
and sit, city. And then we had the country. We had the email. Oops, hold down the wall key. And then we had a URL. That one didn't get a colon. And then here we had the mobile. And finally we had the phone. Like that. So now we have them all, and now I realize, okay, there is a lot of space here, but very little space here, so I can drag select all of them, and then I can move that one in a little bit. And of course, I would like to align these, so I grab those, align them on the right edge, and then I can, of course, uh, go in and fine tune this, so I distribute them where I want like them to be, um, but I'm not going to go through this uh, too carefully now, so this will be enough. Now, uh, what I can do now is that now I would like to actually create a group out of this one. Because there is a specific settings for fields when they are in a group. Because, um, or that is kind of uh, changes things when they are in a group. And that is here, it says share text. And if I click on the labels, they are by default shared. But fields are not. And the advantage with this is that if I reuse this group as a background group on multiple cards, then fields that don't have the shared text, they have the individual text on each uh, card. But the shared text, well, it will carry over to every new card. So what I can do now is that I can just select all of them. And then I can create a group out of that one. And let's call this uh, address like that. And now when I do have this uh, selected, well then of course I can, as we have seen before, I can go into this one and maybe I would like a little bit bigger text. Now it has changed this one, but it has also changed this one. Um, so that is nice. Okay, so I have my input fields and I have my settings there. So now when I have my group selected again, I would like to go to the first tab here and select behave like a background because only by doing this we have actually something that is a kind of workable uh, usable uh, address book so we could think that okay we're kind of done because what i can do now is that i can go into run mode and i can write the first name here fred mark uh, and he lives on some street like that and now if i create a new card object new card you see that now there is a new so now i can add myself like this um, in this one and now i have the two cards so i can navigate and now i use the short uh, commands here so i can go back to the previous card uh, and go to the next card so with that i can actually work with this as my address book um, and that was real nice but of course maybe i would like to have some navigation also so i would like to have some kind of buttons at the corners where i can um, click to go forth and go back so let's maybe there is a good seg icon so i grab that one uh, and turn it into something like that and if i really would like to make it sure that it's square well then we can say that the width is 60 and the height is 43 so maybe we should have a uh, 45 45 uh, and then of course we would like to have another icon so let's see if we have we can use maybe that one uh, for this one and then i can grab this one uh, copy that one and put it on the other corner and then we can swap that to the other direction so now as we said before wouldn't it be nice to have the navigation on kind of all cards well, to do that, we need to create a group of them. So first of all, let's align them uh, and then we can group them. And now we can name that group. So I name that uh, navigation. Now we have a problem or a slight problem. And that is now I have this group, 
But if I now go to the previous card, you see that hmm, it's not there. Oh, maybe I forgot to do the behave like a background. So let's go here and click behave like a background. Yes, that was the thing. Nice, but it's still not here. And the reason is that it will not automatically add groups to old cards. It will only add that to new cards. So if I go to this card and then create a new card, um, you will see that now it is added to that card, but it's not added to the first card. So how do I get the group into this card? Well, in the object group, uh, in the object menu, there is something called placed group. And there you see that there is a group that I haven't placed and that is called navigation. So I can add that one here. And the same if there is a card where I don't want the navigation, well, then I can in the object group say remove group. What you shouldn't do is that you shouldn't click on this one and then hit the backspace because that actually warns you because it, it says this group is placed on multiple cards. If I now select yes, then it will be removed on every card and the group is gone. So I don't want that one. So I will, I will select no here. But now I have. I haven't added any code yet, but we have kind of created our basic structure for our address book.